When I was small, I never considered the importance of time. I would just laze around, watch TV, lie in bed, and play video games. As I grew older, I thought about the things that I have achieved. To my surprise, I haven't accomplished a lot. I resolved to myself that I will do things that will contribute to the benefit of mankind. I studied very hard and learned a lot of lessons from my experience. I lacked self-confidence before, so I wanted to help other people overcome this predicament. I wanted to help anyone in need because it feels so good to solve other people's problems. I urge you now to make the most use of your time. It may be joining a fundraising organization. You may also learn new skills or crafts. Create a goal and go for it. Don't be a couch potato. Don't just sit around and be contented with the monotonous patterns of your daily activities. Do something nice and give it all your best to the fulfillment of a worthwhile endeavor. It will give you a very deep sense of happiness and satisfaction. Some people complain that they don't have enough time to take action on their goals. They have to go to their 9 to 5 job, then when they go home they feel so tired all they can think about is to watch TV, relax and sleep. I'm not saying that leisure is a no-no, in fact Everyone should take time out once in a while to recharge and revitalize their energy. The key is to have a balanced life. Set aside a fraction of your time to carry out your dreams and ambitions. Reserve some time to establish healthy relationships. Okay, I hear you. You're saying that you really just can't budget your time. Don't panic. Here are some time management tips. 1. If possible, do more than one thing at the same time. Exercise while watching your favorite TV show. Listen to educational tapes while waiting for the bus. Be forewarned. Never do this if it puts you at risk or in danger. For example, don't text while driving. 2. Don't do something later if it can be done concurrently with an activity at present. If you're going to the market to buy some eggs, Think of the other things that you have to purchase so that you don't have to return again. If you have an appointment with the dentist today and you also have to go to the bank, which is near the dentist clinic, schedule the two activities on the same day. 3. Be organized in everything that you do. Put labels on bottles. Put similar files on one folder. Make a list of things you have to do for the day. You can also use your mind to organize things you have to remember. Studies have shown that you can only retain information that fit between 5 to 9 categories at a time. This is the 7 plus minus 2 rule of neuro-linguistic programming. If you have many things to do, try to group related things together. You can combine activities such as reading books, listening to educational tapes, and watching training videos into a category such as education. Then you can group swimming, playing basketball, and paying fees for the gym in a category called fitness. Time is one of our most valuable resources. Once lost, it can never be reclaimed. We must use time wisely for our development and advancement, so that when we are old, we can look back and recollect the pleasant memories and deeds that we have achieved. Time well spent is worth much more than gold.